Joshua Peterson with Peterson Electric here today. I want to talk to you about smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. Um, I think it's pretty cute when people call me up and they start quoting code at me and they really don't even know what they're talking about. So I want to educate you so you don't call me up and make yourself look a little funny. Um, bottom line, in a residential situation for 120 volts, when you're dealing with a hardwired smoke detector, the code talks about the fact that each level of a home and this is the National Fire Protection in Dash 72. It's not the NEC 70. It's the 72 code book that talks about fire alarm. It talks about having smoke detectors on every level of a home. So if you're at the top of the stairway, you're at the main bottom of the stairway. If you go down here and have a basement, another part of the stairway, you have to have them there as well. If you travel upstairs, it talks about how you have to have a smoke detector on the outside of each bedroom. Okay, so a smoke detector basically in a nutshell could serve this area, which is going to be a bedroom here and a bedroom here. And, it, and right in the hallway could serve both areas because it's not a long hallway. They don't really state how long, but rule of thumb with electrical for an outlet is 10 foot. So use that same assumption. When you come inside of the bedroom, you have to have one up high too. Now this guy decided to put one right here. That's fine. But these are all battery. We don't typically wire our smokes that way. We're going to put them up in the ceiling and they'll be hardwired. Now, right here, you have to go in the next bedroom and then in the master bedroom. And if this hallway, again, is really long, you need another one and the second one in the hall if the stairway is in a certain location. Let's assume that the stairway goes up to a very high vault and it goes up another 15 foot and the bedrooms are at 8 foot. Then you have to do it at the tallest part of the peak in your great room or at the stairways. You also have to do them in the basement, regardless if you have a bedroom there. So if you go down to the bottom of the stairway, and then you have to go all the way across the basement to a bedroom about 10, 15, 20 feet away, then you need another one outside the door and, again, inside that bedroom. And then, again, the reason why they put them right here, you're supposed to have them 12 inches down. If you measure this length, that's 12 inches. Basically, your smoke's supposed to be right on the door. That's not a good location. Smoke tends to roll. And the, a lot of the fire protection says that they need to be about 12 to 18 inches out in the ceiling. If the, you're going to do the door or the wall, that's fine. But you need to find a spot on that wall where it will serve so that that smoke can roll. Um, and carbon monoxide detectors is another thing. The carbon monoxide detectors, basically rule of thumb, they say, is within 25 foot of a bedroom. Any homes that are fairly small at 1,800 square foot, they don't even have a 25 foot hallway. So in my opinion, in this house, one right up here, on the outside of all these doors would work. But if you guys have any fear of that or you want more safety, remember, the codes are basically the bare minimum. Go ahead and put a plug-in inside the house. But I find that the ones that are not plug-in that screw in up above are better to use. The reason being is because of the fact that you don't have to worry about your kids unplugging it or kicking it, plus they're more inexpensive to buy. Now, in my opinion, you should always try to find smoke detectors that interlink. Interlinking is different than the battery. A battery one is just a battery. It's going to die no different than a flashlight. But if you get the interlinking kind that are wireless and they're addressable, you can get those, but they're fairly expensive. You're going to spend $75 to $100 a smoke detector depending on where you get them. Maybe you can get them for 50 bucks. But they are they have basically slaves and only one master, and that one master is hardwired and all the others are slaves and they're all battery. But they do connect from upstairs to down three levels below to tell you, hey, I've got a smoke going on downstairs. Where batteries, if no one's downstairs residing in the basement and the fire starts down there, by the time you get two levels up, it could be too hard for you to get out of your house or you have to go out your window. So if you can do hardwired, that's the best way to go always. But not all the time is that feasible to do conduit or wire mold through the house or drilling or getting through these shafts to get to every level. I have done that in the past. I've even done conduit on the back side of the house out the eave to, to actually connect each level of the home by doing that. But that's because they were doing a remodel almost in every level. So if you're not doing that, batteries are best. Interconnected battery smoke connectors are second by choice. I would do that if you have the money. And then the third again, is your hardwired ones as well. Now, you can get your combination type carbon monoxide and smokes together. Now, Lowe's, as well as I think Best Buy, is selling what they call Nest, N-E-S-T. They sell a smoke detector system that's really nice. I just installed it for a customer. Um, but it's fairly pricey, guys. Uh, she bought 11 smoke detectors and supplied them for me. I want to say she spent probably around $800 to $900. 
And then she also had the thermostats, which she had three furnaces. So she ended up with like a $3,000 bill by the time it was done. But they were really neat, just the smoke detectors. You, you can just get those items. They, they did carbon monoxide detecting and smoke. They, she did have a hardwired system with all 120 volts around. Um, they did have a battery backup, which was great. Um, but they were very sensitive. They were very alert. And they did let her know on her cell phone that was going on. If you have the money, that's great, guys. But I guess if it were me and my cell phone was alerting that my house was on fire, I think I would be more nervous driving home to see that. So I don't, I don't know. That's up to you if you want to spend that kind of money. But I like the fact that my smoke detectors interconnect so that my kids in other rooms with a two-hour fire rated door shut, I know that my babies are safe. I've got three kids myself. And um, I just know that if one's downstairs in the basement, I can know what's going on upstairs. Guys, keep it safe. Keep it simple. Don't be too cheap. Make sure you spend your money with an investment and make sure your family's safe. Have a good day.